good day to you let us see what are the wireless technologies available for iot there are six technologies available for iot one is wifi second gprs or mobile network third is lora fourth 4g fifth nb iot sixth satellite based modem let us see one by one in little bit more detail wifi is known to all of us <coughs> we use in our home or is day to day it is easy to connect and configure and then there are many standard wifi radios are available to connect sensor to cloud offers a very good speed in communicating data to the cloud and then getting command from the cloud also esp32 from china offers uh, one of the platform for connecting sensor to cloud through wifi <coughs> next is yeah, gprs gprs stands for global packet radio system so this uh, operates our mobile network so data can be transmitted wherever mobile network is available low data rate and then it consumes low power also Some, no, sometimes it consumes even up to 400 to 500 milliampere when data is being transmitted quicktel is one of the manufacturer who is supplying ICs for this purpose. There are maybe a SIM nine, SIM ninety something is there, then an M double six. There are some popular uh, ICs used in this communication method. <coughs> Lora van. Lora van does not depend upon any availability of any mobile network or Wi-Fi. It offers highest range among all of them. It offers up to ten kilometers range, but the data rate is low and then it's low power. so most suitable for battery operated uh, devices is network can be set up anywhere because it doesn't depend upon any available communication network like uh, wifi or uh, mobile communication towers but data rate is low but uh, quite suitable for iot next is the uh, 4g 4G offers high data rate. You can even transmit uh, videos using 4G, but videos may not be required to, uh, in IoT cases. This is not suitable ba- for battery-operated devices because this consumes a lot of top power. But it needs 4G coverage, 4G to coverage to operate these devices. Next is NB IoT. NB is an advanced narrowband IoT Internet of Things, exclusively designed for IoT. narrow band so consumes less power and suitable for battery operation need 4g network suitable for nb iot nordic semiconductors or offering chipset for nb iot the last way of connecting sensors and data to the cloud is satellite based communication system this is available only in india nowhere else this can be used the first time it has been launched in india so the communication happens through a satellite and then the data is pushed to some cloud infrastructure at the ground at, at ground point <clears throat> so any any sensor at anywhere in india can be connected to connected through this modem so it doesn't depend upon wifi or uh, <clears throat> mobile network also data rate is slow but the greatest advantage is <clears throat> you can, can take data from anywhere in india maybe hill area deep sea <coughs> remote forest area so there is no restrictions about the location as long as it is within india this is the greatest advantage this is being offered by such a private companies in india i don't remember the name exactly so these are six methods available for iot to connect data to the cloud So I have given you a brief introduction of uh, what are Wi-Fi networks available for IoT. Thank you very much.